morning, everyone. Our opening song will be out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book. Number 379. 379, O sons and daughters. We start at verse 4. That night the apostles met in fear. Amid them came their Lord most dear, and said, My peace be on all here. Alleluia. When Thomas first the tidings heard, how they had seen the risen Lord, he doubted the disciples' word. Alleluia. My wounded side, O Thomas, see. Behold my hands, my feet, said he. Not faithless, but believing be. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Martino Miliacho, Antonio and Carmine Coalillo, the special intention for Father Bill DeRuzzi, who celebrates his birthday today, and those in our Book of Life. For the times we failed to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those who are in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest and all who were with him, that is, the sect of the Sadducees, being filled with jealousy, arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors, brought them out, and said, Go, stand in the temple, and tell the people the whole message about this life. When they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and went on with their teaching. When the high priest and those with him arrived, they called together the council and the whole body of the elders of Israel and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the temple police went there, they did not find them in the prison. So they returned and reported, We found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. Now, when the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these words, they were perplexed about them, wondering what might be going on. Then someone arrived and announced, Look, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain went to the temple police and brought them, but without violence, for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. The response, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. 
O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the people. Look to him and be radiant, for your voice will never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord, and was saved from every trouble. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God loved the world so much he gave us his only son that all who believe in him may have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not have perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are already condemned, because they have not believed in the name of the Holy Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and people love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of the gospel, wipe away our sin. Amen. John 3.16 is often quoted at sporting events, in wrestling, and I still struggle with what the connection is with WWE and John 3.16. But nonetheless, this is the case. This is a very well-known passage in the scripture. But it's important for us to not just know the passage, but to understand it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. This is so vital for us to understand that as the passage goes on to say that Jesus did not come to condemn or to judge the world but to save it is the reason for our rejoicing. As we studied last night in God Talk, we continue to recognize the presence of Jesus in our midst and how important it is to live that authentic Christian witness. And so, this attitude of gratitude that we have is not just through the Easter season, but rather every day of our lives as we recognize that God thought enough of us to send his son down to earth, for indeed the Lord hears the cry of the poor and the cry of salvation reached the ears of God, and so he sent Jesus to redeem us. And so this attitude of gratitude lifts our hearts with joy as we continue the Easter season in honor and praise of the glory of God who by his suffering, death, and resurrection has set us free. Let us now offer our prayers to our gracious Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for God's holy church that she may continue to grow in love and knowledge of the Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace and harmony that it may reign in all corners of the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are imprisoned. May they be comforted and strengthened by Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who gather here at St. Joseph, that we may be radiant with joy that comes from true communion with Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Martino, Antonio, Carmen, those in our book of life, and all the holy souls in purgatory, that they may, as marked as Christ's own, not perish, but may have eternal life through him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Saving God, you send your Son Jesus as a light to our world. Continue your saving work among us as you give answer to our prayers. We ask these and all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land and every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Martino, Antonio, Carmen, and those in our Book of Life, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. No longer Thomas then denied. He saw the feet, the hands, the side. You are my Lord and God, he cried. Alleluia. How blessed are they who have not seen, and yet whose faith has constant been. For the eternal life shall win. Alleluia. On this most holy day of days, to God your hearts and voices raise in laud and jubilee and praise. Alleluia. 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 God bless you. Have a good day.